The catalyst for this transformative narrative was a private matter that suddenly became a subject of global interest, the illness of Catherine, the beloved Duchess of Cambridge. As the news of her condition reverberated through the kingdom and beyond, the steadfast pillar of the royal family, Prince William, found himself thrust into a new realm of responsibility and personal growth. For years, William had navigated the complex tapestry of royal duties with a measured, almost cautious approach. His dedication to charitable causes and his unwavering commitment to the crown were unquestioned, yet there was a sense that he had yet to fully embrace the true extent of his leadership potential. That all changed when Catherine's health became the family's primary concern. It was a difficult time, no doubt about it, recalls a senior palace aide, who spoke on the condition of anonymity. The Duke was understandably worried, but it was as if a switch had been flipped. Suddenly, he was making decisions with a clarity and conviction that surprised even those of us who have worked closely with him for years. As Catherine underwent treatment, William assumed a more prominent role in the day-to-day -day operations of the monarchy. He chaired meetings, made key strategic decisions, and navigated the delicate balance of public and private life with a newfound sense of purpose. Gone was the hesitation that had occasionally marked his earlier years. In its place, a steely determination to ensure that the institution he would one day lead weathered this storm with dignity and resilience. The Duke has always been dutiful, but this experience has given him a level of confidence and decisiveness that is truly remarkable, the aide continued. It's as if he's finally stepped out of the shadow of his father and grandmother and embraced the full weight of his responsibilities. This transformation did not go unnoticed by the British public, who watched with a mix of pride and admiration as William navigated the challenges of his wife's illness and the demands of his royal role. Social media platforms were flooded with messages of support, with many drawing parallels between William's journey and the trials faced by countless families around the world. It's incredible to see how he's handled this, remarked Sarah Williamson, a longtime royal watcher from Manchester. You can't help but feel inspired by his ability to rise to the occasion, even in the face of such personal turmoil. It's a testament to his character and the strength of his commitment to the crown. As Catherine's treatment progressed and her health steadily improved, William's newfound focus and decisiveness only deepened. He took a more active role in shaping the public narrative surrounding the royal family using his platform to raise awareness about the challenges faced by those dealing with similar health issues. The Duke has always been a champion of mental health initiatives, but this experience has given him a deeper understanding and empathy for what families go through, noted Dr. Emily Sinclair, a London-based clinical psychologist. He's using his position to shed light on the importance of compassion, resilience, and the power of community support, all of which are vital in the face of any significant life challenge. This shift in William's approach has not gone unnoticed by his own family. Queen Elizabeth II, the indomitable matriarch of the House of Windsor, has been quietly impressed by her grandson's newfound leadership, reportedly telling aides that she's never been prouder of the man he has become. Her Majesty has always had faith in the Duke, but this has been a true test of his mettle, the palace aide revealed. The way he stepped up, not just for his wife and family, but for the institution as a whole, has earned him a level of respect and admiration that goes beyond even his own expectations. This sentiment has been echoed by Prince Charles, the heir apparent and William's father, who has long grappled with the challenges of preparing for his eventual ascension to the throne. Sources close to the Prince of Wales suggest that he has taken a step back, allowing William to fully embrace his role as the future king, confident in the knowledge that his son is more than ready to shoulder the burden of leadership. There's a sense of generational transition happening within the royal family, explained royal historian Dr. Alice Pemberton. William's handling of this situation has not only bolstered his own confidence, but it's also given Charles the assurance that the monarchy is in capable hands. This could have a profound impact on the future of the institution. As Catherine's health continues to improve and the family navigates the road to recovery, William's newfound focus and decisiveness have become a guiding light not just for the royal household, but for people around the world facing their own challenges. It's easy to feel overwhelmed when life throws you a curveball, said Emily Sinclair, the clinical psychologist. But the Duke's example shows us that, with determination, resilience, and the support of those we love, we can overcome even the most daunting obstacles. His journey is a testament to the power of the human spirit. Indeed, as the sun sets over Kensington Palace, the silhouette of the future king stands tall, 
a symbol of hope and inspiration for all who face the uncertainties of life. It is a testament to the transformative power of adversity, and a reminder that, even in the darkest of times, the human spirit can rise to meet any challenge.